How to make rhyme videos using AI tools. If you ask ChatGPT, what are the seven most watched videos on YouTube? You'll notice something surprising. At the very top of the list is the famous nursery rhyme, Baby Shark Dance from the Pink Fong channel. This single video has crossed more than 16 billion views. That's nearly double the population of the entire world. And it doesn't stop there. In the same list, the third and fourth most watched videos also belong to the children's channel Cocomelon, each crossing 7 billion views. Even the fifth most watched video, Johnny Johnny Yes Papa, is another kid's nursery rhyme with billions of views. If you explore these channels further, you'll see that almost every video racks up millions and sometimes billions of views. So what does this tell us? Kids' nursery rhymes are one of the most powerful and evergreen categories on YouTube. And here's the exciting part. Today, I'll show you how you can create similar kids' nursery rhyme videos using free AI tools. You won't need to know any advanced animation or editing skills. We'll explore where to get the visuals, how to add sound effects and music, and how to make your videos look and sound professional. Stick with me until the end, because by the time you finish watching, you'll know exactly how to create engaging kids' videos that could reach millions of viewers too. The very first step to creating these kinds of videos is super easy. We'll start with ChatGPT. Just open ChatGPT and type something like, I'm starting a cartoon channel for kids. Please give me 20 video ideas related to nursery rhymes like ABC songs and similar topics. But here's the fun part. You're not limited to just 20. You can ask for 50, 100, or even more ideas in one go. With a single press of the enter button, ChatGPT will instantly give you a full list of creative topics you can turn into videos. This way, you'll never run out of fresh nursery rhyme ideas for your channel, and you'll always know exactly what kind of content to make next. Once we have a list of topics ready, the next step is to actually create rhymes for our videos. And the best part? ChatGPT can do this for us in just a few seconds. For example, let's say I really like one of the topics from the list, like ABC Song with Vehicles. All I need to do is copy that topic and type it into ChatGPT. Write a rhyme on this topic, ABC Song with Vehicles. After pressing enter, within moments, ChatGPT will generate a complete rhyme that's ready to use in your video. No brainstorming, no struggling to come up with lines. Everything is created instantly for you. This makes the whole process of making kids content not only fast, but also super fun. Now that we already have a complete rhyme for our video, the next exciting step is to turn it into a song. Don't worry, this part is just as simple as the previous steps. First, open Google and type Suno AI. Once the website appears, click on it. On the homepage, you'll see a sign up button. Click on it and then choose the option to sign up with your Google account. After that, just follow the steps. Press skip, skip, then choose a username. Hit next, add your date of birth, and click next again. That's it. Your account is ready to go. Now that you have your account, it's time to create the song. On the dashboard, click on the lyrics button. This is where we'll bring our rhyme to life. Go back to ChatGPT, copy the rhyme you just generated, and then paste it into the box on Suno AI. Everything else can stay the same. In the section where it asks for the style, you can simply type something like kids, or even just leave it to Suno AI. It will automatically detect the style for you. Next, scroll down a little, give your song a proper title, and then click the Create button. Once you do that, the AI will start generating your song. It usually takes just a short moment, and then you'll see your brand new track ready to play. You can listen to it right there and decide which version you like the most. And yes, you can download it too. Simply click on the three dots next to your song, then select Download, and choose the MP3 format. Now you have your very own professionally sounding kids song created from your rhyme, and you didn't need any singing, music skills, or editing knowledge. Now that we have our song ready, the next step is to bring it to life with animated videos. This is the part that will make your nursery rhyme stand out and truly capture kids' attention. To start creating your clips, we'll once again use ChatGPT and type something like this. Now give me detailed prompts for every scene to make animated clips for my video. Also, write animation prompts for every visual. Once you hit enter, ChatGPT will provide you with scene-by-scene -scene prompts that you can directly copy and use in text-to-video tools. This way, you don't have to worry about writing creative descriptions yourself, 
The A, I will handle it for you. With this step, your nursery rhyme is no longer just text and audio. It's starting to transform into a fun, colorful, animated video that kids will love watching again and again. Once we have all the prompts ready from ChatGPT, the next step is actually to turn those prompts into animated video clips. For this, we'll use Google AI Studio, which is an excellent tool for beginners. First, open Google and type Google AI Studio in the search bar. Click on the link that appears and you'll be taken to the home page. From there, press the Get Started button. It will ask you to sign in. Simply log in with your Google account. After signing in, look for the option called Generate Media. When you click on it, you'll see a variety of models available. For creating videos, you need to select the VO model. The best part is that this model gives you a few free credits, which are usually enough to make multiple clips for your project. Now it's time to use the prompts we prepared earlier. Go back to ChatGPT, copy your first prompt, and paste it into the box in Google AI Studio. After that, click on the Run button, and the AI will start generating your video. Within about a minute, your first animated clip will be ready to use. Next, repeat the same process with your second prompt. Copy it from ChatGPT, paste it into the box, click Run, and wait a short while for the video to finish. Do this step for each remaining prompt until all of your rhyme scenes are turned into animated videos. Sometimes you may see an error message saying, failed to generate video. Don't worry, this happens occasionally. Simply click the Run button four or five more times and the video will eventually generate successfully. By following this process, you'll have a full set of short animated clips for every scene of your nursery rhyme. Now that all of our animated clips are ready, it's time to move into the video editing stage. This is where we'll bring everything together, the song, the visuals, and smooth transitions to make it look like a professional kid's nursery rhyme video. For editing, we'll use CapCut. You can use any video editing software you feel comfortable with. First, open CapCut and create a new project. Import both your song, the one we generated earlier, and all the animated video clips you created from Google AI Studio. Once everything is inside your project, Drag the song down to the timeline. This will be the base of your video. Now take your video clips and arrange them on the timeline so that they match perfectly with the rhythm and flow of the song. After placing all the clips in the right order, the next step is to add transitions between each clip. Transitions are small effects that make one scene move into the next more naturally, instead of just cutting suddenly. CapCut has many built-in transition effects, so you can pick the ones you like. Once you've adjusted the clips and added transitions, your video is basically ready. The final step is to export it. Just click on the export button, and that's it. You've successfully created a full nursery rhyme video from scratch, using nothing but free AI tools and a simple editing process. A is for airplane flying in the sky. B is for bus going rolling by. C is for car honky beep beep beep. D is for dump truck hauling dirt and heaps. E is for engine chugging on the track. F is for fire truck racing fast soon back. G is for garbage truck picking up the cans. H is for helicopter spinning as it lands.